In this training video using PowerPoint 2016, we're going to look at reusing slides from other presentations. So in this particular presentation, we've got a new presentation called Tourism, and we've got a and we've got a title slide called Tourism. So we're now going to insert some new slides we want to use in this particular presentation from another presentation. Now this can be done in PowerPoint using the new slide option on the home tab. So I'm going to click the arrow for new slide, reuse slides, which is the last option in the list. And now you've got to find and you've got to browse the slide you want. So we're going to browse for the presentation slides we want. And ours happen to be on the desktop and holiday snaps completed. I'm going to open it. Now you've got different options of inserting slides when you reuse them. So for example, I might want the holiday destinations. Now I could right click this slide and I can insert the slide. The beauty with the right click option, it gives me more options. I can insert the slide. I can insert all slides. I can apply the theme to all slides from the slide I'm inserting. Or I can apply theme to selected slides. So there's different options on the right click. In this example, I'm going to insert the slide. And the new slide comes in with the existing theme of the new presentation. So the tourism presentation theme has now been maintained for the new slide we've inserted. Now I could have inserted this in a slightly different way. So it could have gone down to, for example, the booking procedure. I might want this slide. If I wanted to, I could just one single left click, so one left click on booking procedure, and the slide goes into my presentation. I might want the organizational chart. One more left click, and that goes into my presentation. Now what you'll, what you'll notice is all the slides are present, they're going in one after another. Now I might want sales representatives to come in between slides two and three. So I can actually click in the middle of two and three in the, in the preview slides area. So my little line is clicking between two and three. And now I can go to the sales representation slide. And now that's gone in, in the position where I wanted it to go into. So this is how you can reuse slides from other presentations. And you've got options. So you can go on the right click, which gives you slightly more options. And you've got theme options, you can insert single slides, you can insert multiple slides and all slides in the presentation. Whereas if you wanted to only insert one or two slides, you can go around and click in one single left click. And that gives you insert slides. But what you'll notice is you've got animations coming in. So little, these little stars next to the numbers, these mean animations. They could either be an animation or transition. So there's a way of telling this. So if you can go to the transitions tab, I can see I've got a window that's applied to slide three. Well, it might be applied to many of my slides. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'm going to click none and apply to all. So that's now got rid of most of my, my stars. So they're, they're all transitions. Well, slide two happens to be an animation. So I'm going to click on slide two, click on the object itself, which is the smart art. And I'm now going to Go to the Animations tab, Animations pane, and here's my animation for the Smart Art. Click the drop down arrow and remove the animation. So for whatever reason, if you didn't want slides to come in with all different kinds of animations and transitions from, from existing presentations, you can control it yourself. You can just bring in the presentation slides, as we have in this example, and then insert your own transitions and animations to the new presentations, or you could keep the transitions and animations from existing presentations. So this becomes a choice of how to manage and reuse slides from other presentations. But in this training video, this concludes the use of slides and reusing slides from other existing presentations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. 
hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.